Hey guys, so today I have a tutorial for this super classic look, just a neutral eye paired with an amazing bold red lip. So if you want to see how I got it, then just keep watching. Okay, so first we are going to prime our skin. I'm using the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot Primer, and I'm going to focus this in my T-zone, but I really just kind of put it everywhere. I love this primer so much. Then I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Come Correct Celebrity Concealer and I'm going to start concealing underneath my foundation. I ended up putting on way too much. I literally could have used this for foundation with how much I accidentally put on it. You literally need the tiniest amount. Like I literally should have used half that amount. You can see how far it starts to spread. It's like, a little bit too much product there, Katie, but whatever. I end up wiping some off. But Anyways, I'm just going to put that on my problem areas and spread it out. Look, I have so much. It could be foundation. Get it off. Anyways, continue. So I'm just going to buff that into my skin. Then I'm going to take my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation and I'm going to mix it with my Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. One of you guys told me about this combination in my foundation collection video and I seriously love this combination so much. It lasts all day, it gives it a little bit more fuller coverage or it gives the Urban Decay Naked Skin more fuller coverage and it's just beautiful. I love it so much. So I'm just going to blend that all over my skin with my Real Technique sponge. Then I'm going to take my Catrice Camouflage or Liquid Camouflage Concealer. This is in the Porcelain shade 01 and I'm going to use this to highlight under my eyes and cover up those dark circles and just highlight the center of my face as well. And again, blend that in with a tool of your choice. Also, I have my diffuser on in the background. If you guys see like random smoke clouds spewing, I have my diffuser on. <laughs> and then I am bringing the concealer up onto my lids to help prime my eyes. And then I'm just going to bake underneath my eyes. I'm using my airspun powder because it is it's what I have in my collection to use. Um, I don't know if they're cruelty free though, so just use whatever powder that you normally bake with. And then for my eyelids, I'm going to set it with my Lunatic Cosmetic Lab setting powder, the mystifying mattifying setting powder, just because my eyelids can get a little bit oily and this really helps put down a nice base. And then I'm just kind of taking a little bit of my NYX Set It and Don't Fret It and kind of setting anywhere where I don't have bake just so my foundation doesn't settle into my lines. Then I'm gonna fill in my brows real quick. And then I'm gonna use the Essence Make Me Brow. I've heard this is a dupe of Benefit's Gimme Brow. It doesn't really build your your brows as much as Gimme Brow does, but it is still a really, really awesome tinted um, brow gel. Then for this look, I'm taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, and I'm going to take that middle cool tone gray. This is on a Morphe M504. I've seen your comments about including brushes, and I'm going to start to try to include all the brushes that I'm talking about. So saw it, I'll try to include all the brushes. Um, anyway, so this is a Morphe M504, and we're just going to put that in our crease as a transition shade. And then I'm going to take this Wet n Wild like crease blending brush. This one doesn't have like a specific name, but I think it's just called an eye blending brush. And we're going to take that dark brownish gray, and we're going to put it in our outer corner and do circular, mo circular motions towards the inner corner of your eye. So as you can see, I'm just placing it in the outer corner and doing circular motions inward. So I didn't want to edit this out a lot because I really wanted you guys to see the blending process. This is an important one. And I am building up the color a little bit too, and then just going back and forth in circular motions, all of that sort of stuff. Then I'm going to take the black, and this is on a Morphe M507, and I'm basically going to put this where you would put like a winged eyeliner, and then I'm also bringing it into the crease. So hopefully you guys can just like see what I'm doing but I really really like this effect because it just makes my eyes look a lot more defined and a lot more like almondy and a little bit bigger in my opinion so <clears throat> I really really like this trick it's what I've been doing I've been doing this this neutral smoky eye literally for the past like week I love it so much so 
as you can see, I'm just taking the black, putting it on my lower, the outer corner of my lower lash line, and then as well as into my outer corner of my crease. Then back with a Wet n Wild blending brush, I'm just blending more. Then I'm going to take this like pale white cream shade, and this is on a Wet n Wild large eyeshadow brush, and I'm just going to pat that on the center of my lid. Well, I mean all over my lid where I don't have those dark shades, obviously. You guys see what I'm doing. Then I'm taking more of this one is like the stark white in the palette and this is a super old Sonia Kashuk brush um, just take whatever like flat eyeshadow brush you have and I'm gonna use that to highlight my brow bone and then of course always go back with your blending brush and blend your transition shade into your brow bone shade and then I'm sorry that was so zoomed out but now I'm just blending a little bit more you know do the thing do the blending thing and then I'm just going to dust away that bake and I also kind of like swirl it all over my face so that the rest of my face gets set as well. Then I'm taking, this is an outer V brush from Makeup Geek and I'm just going to take that with that same dark gray color from the palette and I'm just going to run that along the outer half of my lower lash line. So I'm not bringing this all the way in, just focusing on the outer half. And then back with that same Wet n Wild blending brush to just blend it down a little bit. Then I'm taking my handy Steely Style the Stylus liner and I'm just going to use this to define my lash line. I'm not doing a wing, I'm literally just doing a thin line of eyeliner just to really like give me something to attach my fake lashes to just because it makes it a lot easier to have a little bit of eyeliner on when you put on false lashes but as you can see it's just the thinnest line no wing just to define my eyes even further and this eyeliner is perfect for it you can literally just like tap it on your eyes and it creates a line it literally does the work for you i love it so much then I'm going to take my trusty NYX retractable eyeliner and I'm going to tight line with this and I'm also going to put it on my lower waterline but only on the outer half just to keep our inner corners nice and wide open. I'm just going to place a little bit and then just blend it a little bit. Then for an inner corner highlight, I'm going to take Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek and I'm going to wet my brush with my um, All Natural Face Fix It Mist and this is a super, super old MAC pencil brush. I've literally had this since I was 16, but whatever pencil brush you have works and I'm just going to place that on my inner corners. All right, moving on to face, I'm going to take this Becca Low Light Highlight Perfecting Palette and I'm just going to take that contour shade and I'm going to kind of use this as like contour and bronzer and just warm up my skin and I am using this I think it's called the elf um, like angled blush brush it's a newer one but it's just an angled brush and I've been loving it for like bronzing and contouring so I'm just gonna do that Alright, and then I'm going to take my e.l.f. Mineral Powder Brush, which is one of my favorite contouring brushes, and I'm going to take the Makeup Geek Cool Porcelain Contour, and I'm just going to con like really contour with a contour color so that it's more contoured. <laughs> so I'm really using this as a contour. The other one was more of a contour and bronzer in one, if that makes sense. Yeah, so, and then I'm just contouring my nose a little bit. This one is just a lot cooler of a tone, so I like using cooler tones on my nose and right in the hollows of my cheeks. So that's what I'm doing. Then I'm going to take the Makeup Geek Blush in Spellbound, and I'm going to take this on this Eco Tools um, fan brush. Um, I love this brush so much, you guys. I never use this brush, but I love this brush. It places blush freaking perfectly, and then I am going to highlight with it. This is the Physician's Formula Nude Shimmer Strips Highlight. Oh, it's so pretty, especially with a highlight like this. It's really like kind of soft and like natural looking. Oh my god, you need this brush in your life. It's so freaking good. Just, yeah, the fucking perfect nose highlight. Like, yes, love it. <laughs> 
And then I'm just going to set my face. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. And then I'm just going to clip the rest of my hair in. I need new extensions bad, but that's a-okay. Then for lips, I'm just going to take a deep blood red, whatever one you love and have works. Today I'm going to use Jeffree Star's um, Unicorn Blood. So I'm just going to apply that all over my lips, of course, because what else would you do with lipstick, you know? And then I'm going to pop on some Kiss Lashes in the style Ritzy, some of my recent favorites, and then of course pop on a hat. I've been loving this hat, it is from Sausage Skateboards, I got it at Zoomies, and once that is on, then we are completely done. So thank you guys so much for watching, I miss you guys so much, I'm going to try to get more videos up. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching, I love you!